Hello everybody and welcome back to the Snap This channel. Now today's video isn't going to be like my normal videos, it's taken a bit more of a serious spin in terms of Snapchat, but I hope you enjoy today's video. So hello and welcome back to the Snap This channel. Now if you're new around here, welcome to these surroundings. We make Snapchat themed videos to help you guys out in the Snapchat community. And today's video is about data handling and how you can access your Snapchat data. Now the idea of this video is to be, like I said in the introduction, a bit more serious than my average one. It is still to do with Snapchat, however we are going to be looking at things that you don't normally see. Moving on into the main topic of the video, I hope everyone in the Snapchat community enjoys this as well. However, this might draw in a different sort of audience in terms of my normal videos. Obviously, if you work for the police, military or schools, it's good to know how Snapchat's data work just in case you ever have to do an investigation. So, to get straight to the point in today's video, you will need two things. One being a computer or a mobile phone to access this data and request it, and a Snapchat account's full details, that's username, password, and authorization message that's usually sent to your phone. Now, before we get into the requested data that Snapchat sends you when you request it, we're actually going to talk about what you can get in the app currently in terms of your data. And it's a short list, so I'll just go through a few. The first one being your name, your username, birthday, mobile number, and email can be found at the top of the settings. You can also also find your Bitmoji snap code and profile pictures, filters and lenses that you've purchased, spectacles that you've synchronised, payments you've made, snap privacy whether that be in story or chat, block snapchatters, memories and shazam history. There are a couple more but those are the main ones. I will leave a list on the screen so you can see exactly what you can find in the app but now let's have a look at that data that you can request. So to request your snapchat data all you need to do is pop onto the snapchat app, go into the settings, scroll down to the bottom and you'll see one called my data. Now you will need the username and password for this snapchat account to log onto the web portal to request your data. If the user has set up their two-factor authorization code you will need that as well to get onto the online portal but once that's loaded you'll see the lists of data that you can request and then at the top there you can see request data and that's what you need to click. This can also be done through a web portal as well as the Snapchat app. I will leave a link in the description so you can request that data using that. Now if you've submitted your request it does not go to your email instantly. When I did it earlier on this week it did take about 15 minutes to come into my email so don't worry if you've requested it and it's not instantly there just check back in maybe 30 minutes time just to see if it has arrived and it does come from the Snapchat email so it is very official. Now once you've received the email off Team Snapchat you will need to click the link at the top there that says click here. It will take you back to the web portal where you'll log in and you'll be able to view your data that you've requested. Now once the request has finally come through you can now download it to your computer, iPhone or Android. It's viewable on all devices. It's better on a computer, I think that's what it's more designed for. However you can swipe between the pages on a touchscreen device. Now obviously today I've put some in an envelope just to be a bit more fancy but I've not got all 188 pages of my requested data. I've actually only got four so we'll have a look at those. Now just before you start worrying about the data because they do collect quite a lot of information there is an FAQs inside the documents to let you know what happens with this data and who can actually see it. Now if you do have any other privacy questions in terms of the data please contact Snapchat straight away and they should be able to answer you. They do take data privacy very seriously. Obviously do not put it in the comment section below because obviously you don't want the fans of the Snap This channel finding out exactly what you're doing. So with the FAQs out of the way we're now going to talk about some of the nitty gritty data which is involved in this document. Now some of it is serious stuff so obviously don't go sharing this around and Snapchat do promote not to share this document with anyone because it is full of personal information whether it be that numbers, birthdays, or even payment details. Now guys, not to bore you with all the information, but I will go over a few of the sheets that you may find interesting. And of course, if you're from the Snapchat community and wanted a fun video today, I will give you something that's worth looking for in your data. So the first page I wanted to talk about was login information. You may find this really interesting if you've been using Snapchat for a very long time. But on this page, and it's usually page one of the document, you can actually see your username, your current name, the creation date of the account, so the minute that you registered. And for some reason I decided in 2013 at half past 10 at night to go, I might sign up for Snapchat. Honestly, it goes to that specific second. <laughs> Ah, great, it's got to this point. Now, there are two reasons today why I'm filming this video. One being that a lot of people deem Snapchat dangerous because the information disappears. Now, you can't see the snaps that were sent, but the information that this document provides shows you who sent it and who received it, which gives you usernames to pinpoint information. 
Now, I wouldn't class this as a legal document, however, it can help in terms of investigations. Like I said in the beginning, we might have a different audience, whether that be police or schools, because Snapchat can be used in crimes. And today's video, I did want to give the information about accessing this data. Now, because today's video has been quite serious, I do want the Snapchat community to come away with something fun out of this video, and that is, if you request your data, you can actually see the list of people that have deleted you. You can also see the people that you've blocked and people you've sent friend requests to. And trust me, mine was about 17 pages ages long in terms of how many people I deleted, I'm friends with. So have a look at this data because it's very interesting to see which one of your friends has deleted you. So to wrap up this video, I know Snapchat information isn't the greatest, but you can find a lot about your friendships and information that you've sent around. Hold on, you've deleted me. Oh, I haven't. Yes, you have. According no, to this document, no. I'm joking. Uh, anyway, guys, the Bitmoji information is here as well. So if you're interested in how many times you've changed your costume, how many times you've changed your Bitmoji, you can pull this off through the document as well. There's not much I can talk about paper anymore. It's not the most exciting video, but I hope you've enjoyed today. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching today. Now, this isn't a video I thought I'd be making this week, but I thought as we're trying to progress the channel into more entertaining videos, I thought I'd get the serious one out of the way. Do expect videos like the drone video to come to the channel in the coming months, because English is slowly having more sunlight so we can actually get out more and do some filming. If you're new around here, of course, you can subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed today's video, if it's worth a like, give us a like. Let us know in the comment section below if you've ever pulled off the date or any Snapchat queries. Something I would mention before I do end the video is recently I've just been added on Snapchat by somebody. I'm not going to name them, but they had the identical bitmoji as me. But that's all I wanted to talk about that. Thank you very much for watching though and we'll catch you in the next video.